partnered with PlayFab to help develop the Adventure Capitalist game. We strongly believe in live services and um, what that means is the ability to be able to take your game and adapt it as it's running. So each week, if we wanted to change something in the game or take feedback from our fans or input or try something new, run a new experiment, PlayFab allows us to change the game without actually rebuilding the entire game and shipping it every time. It seems like it's, it's gaining traction, like when we go to conferences and, and you know, listen to webinars, uh, a lot of people are talking about moving to live operations and it primarily has to do with um, the, uh, wanting to keep players engaged and give them fresh content uh, without having to go through a lengthy uh, development uh, process and uh, approval process in the app stores. So for, for us, um, being able to offer up a timely update, like there's something trending on the internet and we want to tie in an event with that, uh, that news event and we want it to be live within a week, we can't do that without the help of uh, technology like PlayFab. We've come to the point where um, in Adventure Capitalist where we want to run what are called live service events on the regular. Um, so that means like every month without submitting a new client to the app stores or anything, we're basically be, going to be running like Halloween events and Christmas events and, and sort of themed and satirical events within the game. And we wanted to use PlayFab because they have the basically the, the server operations for us to deliver that content um, via server and via asset bundles as opposed to, um, you know, coding it, hard coding it right into your game and then going through two weeks submission, submitting it to the app store. So PlayFab, um, you know, gives us cloud save and backups for all of our players. They can manage multiple catalogs and inventory for different stores. They have segmented messaging so we can actually reach out to different players based on how long they've played, how much money they've spent, are they a free player, um, show them different things in the app um, depending on those segments. And then mostly it's just to deliver um, those events so that when we say they're going live tonight at midnight, they go live because we flick a switch on PlayFab or change a value and now everything just appears. So um, we kind of needed a back end for Adventure Capitalist to do a little bit more magic behind the scenes and PlayFab is great for that. Well, there would definitely be a lot more, um, I guess, planning and production and QA uh, around uh, the updates because once they go out, they're their permanent features essentially. Whereas a live game can can be put up and taken down on like within moments or within minutes. So um, I think the difference would be just the the time it takes to uh, prepare and launch an update. Uh, a live game uh, we think is going to be quite fast and uh, and the event should be relatively lightweight to, to, to put up and take down. If you're looking at rolling your own instead of using an existing service, uh, take into consideration the time that you're going to spend working on that service could be spent making your game a lot better. Um, PlayFab allows you to get uh, a lot of the functionality that you would typically need right out of the box, right on day one. You just have to look through the documentation, install the libraries, and within an hour or two, uh, if this is your first project, uh, within an hour or two, you can be up and running. If you've used PlayFab before, you can get done a lot quicker. Um, and that lets you get past the part that requires server data and more focus on making your game fun. Best advice to give others building a live game is do not underestimate how difficult it is. Building the game itself, the product, it will be probably your easiest part of the whole project. The majority of your project will actually be running the live operations of the game. Your customer support, your service, your feedback, your analytics and decisions of what you make. That will take more of your team and more of your budget than actually building the game. So I really enjoy that PlayFab actually has a history in creating live uh, operation games. Uh, their background and a lot of the team actually come from live games. So when they approach their product, they already bring an experience and a history to it. And uh, it's created a language between the Hyper Hippo team and PlayFab that we both understand and we both have the same goals. So. I've enjoyed that.